Surprise, surprise, I went to my Disney store outlet this weekend and I of course found a few more things. I've gone to the outlet so frequently that the employees there just kind of know me. They know I bring my same reusable bag since I do go there just about every month. But there actually is one employee there that does watch my videos and she has a really awesome Disney pin Eda bag. So that is super cool. So this haul for today, I'm kind of categorizing it as a small yet mighty. I don't have a whole bunch of items, but some of the items that I do have are super, super cool. And I was very excited to find them. I was a little bit worried at first because they did get a new shipment of merchandise in relatively recently, it seemed, but so much of it was Star Wars merch. There is always tons of Star Wars merch at the outlet, but it seemed like a lot of the new shipment was also Star Wars stuff. There's like every Star Wars shirt imaginable, some other little Star Wars type bags and whatnot, and Star Wars pins. There has been like a K2SO4 pin there. I feel like it's been there since the movie was released. So Star Wars merchandise just seems incredibly unpopular. And it makes me curious with Galaxy's Edge opening in Disneyland this summer and Disney World in the winter that I'm sure there's going to be a lot of merch hype. But are people actually going to buy it or is it also just going to end up at the outlet? Because honestly, at this point, the outlet could almost be like a Star Wars store. So if you are a Star Wars fan, the Disney Store outlets are a great place to find a lot of merchandise. I myself am not super into Star Wars, so I got some non-Star Wars items and some really cool finds from Disneyland. So the first item that I got here is all carefully wrapped up in bubble wrap. This is an item that has been on sale at the outlet for quite a bit, but the last trip it was really marked down on sale, and that is the Mr. Big Zootopia ornament. This was part of the sketchbook ornament series for this last holiday season, and it's super cute because it's Mr. Big in his chair. There are some pins of Mr. Big that are kind of styled after this artwork. So I love Zootopia. My boyfriend also is a fan of Zootopia, so he was with me and he kind of pointed this out as how much on sale it was, and we thought, might as well get it, we'll put it on the tree next year. This Mr. Big ornament retailed for $16.95, and I got it on sale for $3.99. Now for all the items that I show and pretty much every item in general for my Disney store outlet, I get an additional 10% off because I use my Disney Visa card. So this one was even a little bit cheaper, definitely worth the wait for it to come down even more on sale since this was a pretty good deal. And the next item I got was actually a pin. On occasion, they will get some new pins in. Sometimes they have like an actual selection of pins and other times it might just be one or two pins in. And they did have a new pin in that was also a pretty good deal. And it is the super cute Mickey Mouse American Legend pin. They also had a lot of this Americana themed general merchandise in the outlet, like a lot of t-shirts. So interesting that it almost seems like kind of a matching pin was there as well. This pin was a silver retail in the park, so probably around the $10 range, and it was on sale for $1.99, so I just got this because I thought it would work pretty well to have as a trader. The next item that I got was also a Christmas item, and it is also just a Disney store item, but it is this really cute ho 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 three quarter length t-shirt. I thought that this was quite nice in its design because it is a little bit more subtle with just kind of the Mickey icons but there is also a really cool feature to this shirt. So it comes with this pack of little Velcro ornaments that you can actually kind of hang on the tree and decorate it. So that just seemed like a super cute touch. And I actually had never seen this in the stores prior to when I just purchased this. So it's gonna be another considerable wait until I can use and wear this, but I think it'll be really fun to actually like deck out the tree and decorate it. Also a good sale deal on this. This retailed for $26.95 and I got it for $7.99. I only have two items left, but they are two amazing things from Disneyland and they were also at amazing sale prices. Now one of the harder things to find and find on sale at the outlet are good sweatshirts. 
Sometimes they'll get some things in, but otherwise it's a lot of t-shirts. So I was so, so, so excited to see this beautiful Disneyland Discover the Magic sweatshirt. This sweatshirt is such a nice material and fabric. It has such a high quality feel, and I love the design on this. The whole Discover the Magic line that they've had recently is probably some of my favorite Disney graphic design work. I think it's so pretty, so classic, and it represents the park so well. So the design on this is kind of styled like a compass, where we have Disneyland on top and we have California Adventure on the bottom, with of course our Mickey icon in the center. And then across the whole outside of the compass are all these different park attraction icons. I like it that this is a little bit more understated. It's also nice that it doesn't have a blatant year on this. And it's hard to kind of show the material, but it's not your traditional sweatshirt. It does feel super nice, and I bet it's gonna be just the perfect level of warmth. This was such an awesome find because it was in my size, so this was a size small, and there was only one other one of these that they had in. It's possible that they had gotten more in and they just already sold out, but either way, it's kind of a rare item to find. And I was also so happy about the sale price. So in the parks, it retailed for $49.99 and it was on sale at the outlets for $17.99. Now this last item I love and it's going to be very difficult to try and show it all in frame because it is this Disneyland beach towel. So I'm gonna try and show it in segments as I go across, but it is this absolutely gorgeous Disneyland Resort beach towel. It's in this style that I love so much. In the center, we have our castle icon, and then we also have the Matterhorn, Carthay Circle, Mickey's Fun Wheel. The design work on this is just absolutely stunning. So this was such an exciting find because this was the only one of these that I saw in the store. And I don't really know if it was supposed to be there, like if they got a shipment of these in or what, because it was just with, I think, the regular Disney store beach towels. Or actually, I don't even know if it was with the beach towels. It just seemed like it was misplaced, just kind of by itself. And like I said, the merchandise that's in this style is my absolute favorite. I do have the Disneyland Ringer t-shirt that has this very similar artwork, and I really want to find the long, I think there's a long sleeve shirt that also has this artwork on it. So my plan for this is not to actually use it as a beach towel, but I want to put it on my wall, kind of like as a tapestry or canvas. I do have a full wall over there that I think this, this would look perfect on because I have some other framed kind of Disneyland or classic Disney art pieces. And so I think this would go perfect with those. But this was by far my favorite find of the day. Now, I have no idea how much this originally retailed for because the price tag has no actual price indicator right where it would be printed, it's just blank. So I'll have to look up exactly how much these retail for in the parks, but at the outlet, I got this on sale for $9.99, which I think is absolutely fantastic. So that was it for my Disneyland haul. Like I said, it was small, but I think kind of mighty with the two Disneyland things that I was able to find, and as well, the two Christmas pieces that I got, and also a pin. Truly, most of the pins that they do have in are the Star Wars ones that nobody wants, which is kind of why they're at the outlet. So it's always super cool when they do have a pin in that I like, whether it's something that I'll be able to keep for myself or trade. So that is all that I have for today, and thanks for watching.